terrible morning. What's up, World Pride? Yep, this is the aftermath of the Packers and the uh, Lions losing to the Lions losing to the Packers. So y'all be paying attention in my videos. Look, man. For most of y'all who threatening the referees and all that, I agree. You're right. You right. Here's my thing though. And this is where me and a lot of Lions fans keep on differing from. Y'all keep harping on one thing, the referees. Now mind y'all, like I said, all that shit happened in the second half. Let's go back to the first half. Let's go back to the first quarter. See, one thing I'm not going to keep doing, I'm not going to let the Lions offense just get off like they innocent. No, they're not. You have to score points. You can't keep you can't keep scoring field goals. Praying your defense is going to bail you out, expecting to beat people. It's not going to work like that. Especially not in the goddamn division. Now, for the most part, Bass Snapper, he was all right, but yeah, he could have did some shit different too. Here's my thing with you, Stafford. You know your O-line is not going to protect you all the time, bro. You know this. This is nothing new to you, man. If anybody should know how to adjust to this O-line by now, it's you. Because you front and center with these guys more than anybody. Carry out, Johnson. You got to learn how to secure the ball, man. Because I see this is going to be a developing problem. You have to secure the ball, man. I mean, if you would have just caught the ball and held on, we wouldn't, have had, we wouldn't have got screwed out of that call. Even though you caught the ball, you took three steps. So that should have been a fumble. Should have been out of bounds our ball. No doubt about it. But you got to stop fumbling to begin with, man. You got to nip that shit in the bud. TJ Hawkinson, I'm noticing a pattern with you too. You keep dropping key passes. You've done that every game you played this year except for the Cardinals game. Every other game you played in, you missed one game. The other three games you played in, you dropped at least one pivotal pass. Adjust, adjust that shit, man. Fix that shit. Good looking. Damn commercials. <coughs> you gotta adjust that shit, man. For real. All right, D-line, we getting pressure. We are getting pressure. But it's not enough. We got to increase the pressure. We got to turn that shit up. I like what Daryl Bevel doing. You got to get a little bit more creative, though, De though uh, Bevel. We need touchdowns. Field goals are not going to do it. I knew when I seen Jim Beam five or six times yesterday, I knew we wasn't going to win. I just knew it. God damn, we could have used Danny Amendola yesterday. I bet you any amount of money, if we had Danny Amendola, we'd have won this game. Period. We should have won anyway, though, because if the Lions would have went up, if the Lions, at the least, we should have been up 17 0. I'm only being real, y'all. What's up, Gridiron Blitz? What up, Trox? What's up, Micro Mike? I'm only being real, y'all. So, man. I know I, will. I ain't been doing no predictions, really. I've been staying away, staying clear. I'm sorry, y'all. I got Minnesota killing us, man. I got Minnesota beating us convincingly, period. I ain't even going to give you no score. I just got the Vikings running away with it. We're going to play the Vikings tight for probably a quarter and a half. They're going to run away with it. I can just see it. Dalvin Cook going to run all over us. Adam Thielen, he don't normally do that much against us. Stefan Diggs, he gonna kill us. Kevin Rudolph is gonna kill us. Kirk Cousins gonna look like an MVP candidate. Watch what I tell you. I guarantee you. And if the Lions do win, I'm not crowing shit, y'all. I'm not. Because I have reasons why <laughs> I made the prediction or whatever. It's like I said last night, man. Until the Lions develop a killer instinct, shit like this is always going to happen, man. Y'all gotta get y'all shit together. This is all y'all. 
when they say Detroit versus everybody, this ain't just no fucking slogan. It ain't just no catchphrase. Motherfuckers ain't saying that because it sounds cool. Because it's a fact of life. Look at how they tried to screw the Jets over Sunday. They tried repeatedly to screw the Jets over. Salute to the Jets. And it was a number of no call. It was a number of imaginary calls killed us yesterday. And then it was calls they should have made. They didn't. We know. Like the pass and the 